Hello, boys and girls. And today's book is by a very famous author named Tommy DePaola. He also draws all of the pictures for his books, too. So this book, The Art Lesson, is about when he, Tommy DePaola, was a little boy. Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He drew pictures everywhere he went. It was his favorite thing to do. His friends had favorite things to do too. Jack collected all kinds of turtles. Herbie made huge cities in his sandbox. Janine, Tommy's best friend, could do cartwheels and stand on her head. But Tommy drew and drew and drew. His twin cousins, who were already grown up, were in art school learning to be real artists. They told him not to copy and to practice, practice, practice. So he did. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls on his half of the bedroom. His mom put them up all around the house. His dad took them to the barber shop where he worked. Tom and Nana, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to the photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. Once, Tommy took a flashlight and a pencil under the covers and drew pictures on his sheets. But when his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. His mom and dad were having a new house built. So Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. When the walls were up, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a piece of bright blue chalk. Tommy took the chalk and drew beautiful pictures all over the unfinished walls. But when the painters came, his dad said, that's it, Tommy. No more drawing on the walls. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother Joe told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have our art lessons? Tommy asked the kindergarten teacher. Oh, you won't have your art lessons until next year, said Miss Bird. But we are going to paint pictures tomorrow. It wasn't much fun. The paint was awful, and the paper got all wrinkly. Miss Bird made the paint by pouring different color powders into different jars and mixing them with water. The paint didn't stick to the paper very well, and it cracked. And if it was windy when Tommy carried his picture home, the paint blew right off the paper. At least you got more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, his brother Joe said. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to the school every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she wore a blue smock over her dress and she always carried a big box of thick colored chalks. Once, Tommy and Janine looked at the drawings that were hung up in the hallway. They were done by the first graders. Your pictures are much better, Janine told Tommy. Next year when we have real art lessons, you'll be the best one. Tommy could hardly wait. He practiced all summer. Then on his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. This box had so many other colors. Blue, violet, turquoise, red, orange, pink, and even gold, silver, and copper. Class, said Miss Landers, the first grade teacher. Next month, the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we will practice using our crayons. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school. Miss Landers was not pleased. Everyone must use the same crayons, she said, school crayons. School crayons had only the same old eight colors. As Miss Landers passed them out to the class, she said, These crayons are school property, so do not break them 
peel off the paper, or wear down the points. How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jack and Herbie. That's enough, Tommy, Miss Lander said, and I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them there. And Joe was right. They only got one piece of paper. Finally, the day of the art lesson came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of the 64 crayons under his sweater and went off to school. He was ready. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Landers said, class, this is Miss Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. And remember, don't ruin it because it's the only piece you'll get. Now pay attention to Miss Bowers. Class, Miss Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn how to draw a pilgrim man, a pilgrim woman, and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy me. Copy? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter? Miss Landers asked. Tommy looked past her and spoke right to Miss Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, and my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. Besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my own 64 Crayola crayons. Well, well, said Mrs. Bowers, said, what are we going to do? She turned to Miss Landers, and they whispered together. Miss Landers nodded. Now, Tommy, Miss Bowers said, it wouldn't be fair to let you do something different from the rest of the class. But I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim man and woman and the turkey, and if there's any time left, I'll give you another piece of paper, and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile. And he did. And he did. And he still does. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book by Tommy DePaola. And if you liked his art style and his books, go on YouTube and look up Tommy DePaola and see what pops up for his books. Bye.